Hi, welcome back to Mahiti Dunia YouTube channel, my dear students and friends. In this video, we are going to see an uh, update on uh, VTU 2021 scheme, STPA calculation, CGPA calculation and percentage calculation. So, first of all, uh, VTU is we are having first year two cycles, P cycle and C cycles, chemistry cycle and physics cycle. So, for both the cycle, uh, this video is appropriate. So, first we will discuss uh, in the C cycle. So here in the C cycle, I have considered mathematics subject, chemistry subject, PSP, ELN, mechanical, chemistry lab, computer lab, English, IDTR, SFH, innovation and design thinking, scientific foundation of health. Okay. So in front of each subject, I have written some credit. Maths 3, chemistry 3, PSP 3, ELN 3, mechanical 3, chemistry lab 3, computer lab 3, English 2 and IDTR, SFH 1. So we should add all these credits. So the total number of credits in chemistry cycle or physics cycle, it is same. That is 20. Okay. Now, now we should see the result sheet. So individual students, now what you should do is you should see your result sheet. So individual subject like mathematics, how many marks you got? Like total marks you should consider. Don't consider internal or external. So total marks, this student has got 95. Chemistry, this student has got 81, PSP 66, ELN 82, Mechanical 76, Chemistry Lab 94, Com Computer Lab 98, English 90 and IDT or SFH. He has taken SFH, so SFH is 81. So he has not con he has not taken IDT, only SFH for Scientific Foundation of Health. So once you got your marks from uh, the total marks from your result sheet, what is the next column you should write is grades. How you should write the grades is, look at here, what is the total marks? 95. So look at the first digit of this total. If it is 9, just add 1 for this 9 and you will get 10 here. Look at similarly for chemistry, 81 is there. For 8, you should add 1 and you will get 9 here. Similarly, 6, 66, 7 I have written because 6 plus 1 is 7. So first digit 8 plus 1 is 9. 7 plus 1 is 8. 9 plus 1 is 10, 9 plus 1 is 10, 9 plus 1 is 10, 8 plus 1 is 9. So, grades I have written for all the subjects. Okay. Once I write the grades, you should write a credit for each subject again as you have written here. Just copy and paste these credits here in front of each subject. All the regular subjects, theory subjects will be having 3. Labs will be having 1. English will be having 2, SFH will be having 1. So total number of credits, we know that here it is, we will be having 20 and also the same here it is 20. Okay. Now, once I got grades and credit, you should multiply this credits with grades. Okay. So if I multiply 10 with 3, 30, 9 3 is a 27, 7 3 is a 21, 9 3 is a 27, 9 3 is a 20. 7, 8, 3 is a 24, 10, 1 is a 10, 10, 1 is a 10, 10, 2 is a 20, 9, 1 is a 9 and totally how many uh, points I will call this as points, how many points I got? 178. This 178 is nothing but what? C multiplied by G. I will call this as points. Okay. Now I got this C into G and also number of credits. Then see the SGPA formula. What is the SGPA formula says? Sum of credits into grades for each subject divided by number of credits. We know the number of credits is 20. So the denominator is obviously it is 20. Whether it is C cycle or P cycle. But numerator sum of credits into grades. So these are credits into grades. We have multiplied it, but it should do the sum. So if I do the sum of this, I will get 178. So numerator is for this student, it is 178. Okay. Now I will go to the next page. So in this page, you will see exact SGPA calculation and percentage calculation. So I am considered this SGPA summation of CA into GA number of credits. What is the marks? He got 178 points. He got this 178 I am taking divided by 20. So 178 divided by 20. So if you do 178 by 20, you are going to get SGPA as 8.9. So 
this is just the simple division so you will get 8.9 okay so this is a semester grade point average of first semester now stpa is 8.9 now i will switch on to the percentage calculation of the first semester so if stpa is 8.9 how to calculate percentage is percentage is is equal to 8.9 minus 0.75 you should do and it should multiplied by 10 okay so now if you do this you are going to get 8.15 if i subtract this and this is multiplied by 10 so overall this is 81.5 percentage he will get for this stpa if stpa is 8.9 so 81.5 percentage he'll get in percentage i have just calculated okay so here for yours it is just like stpa minus 0.75 into 10 if you do this you will get your individual percentage okay that is how you should calculate stpa as well as percentage now how to calculate cgpa cumulative grade points average by using this formula for the same semester okay now for the same marks summation of ci into si divided by summation of ci what is ci ci is nothing but what it is number of credits how many number of credits are there totally 20 what is si sgpa of ith sem ith means here i is equal to 1 it is first sem what is the sgpa of first semester 8.9 so that same so here summation of ci means number of credits 20 so 20 20 will get cancels so you will end up with 8.9 so cgpa is what it is 8.9 okay so here for this calculation for the first semester sgpa is 8.9 cgpa is also 8.9 percentage is 81.5 you can ask why sgpa and cgpa are same so cgpa is means nothing but cumulative so since only first semester results as announced this cgpa is exactly equal to sgpa so when the second semester goes on it increases this credit points will be increases okay now only 20 is there so that's why we put 20 so sgpa cgpa becomes same okay so i hope you understood this calculation of calculating sgpa for the first semester students of 2021 scheme okay so we'll see in the next video do subscribe our channel uh, click on the bell icon for the latest notifications if you have any uh, comments put it on the comment section i will reply for that thank you for watching